Hello and welcome to the David Generation Church YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be here and I hope you are too. Mm -hmm. Today we have such an amazing honor to have with us a very great man as we celebrate the third anniversary of the Davidic Generation Church. Oh, so excited. We are all so excited. Uh, today we have with us a very remarkable woman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she is referred to by our pastor as his covering cherub. <laughs> she is also referred to as the queen East Coast. <laughs> and genuinely, we know her as a woman that is filled with wisdom, strength, grace, <laughs> audacity, power. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us the mama of our Jesus. church. Let us make welcome Pastor Mrs. Dara Simi G. Oya. <laughs> I'm your up where you are. It's such an honor to have you, Ma. Thank you. How I'm are you feeling to be today? Here. I'm doing great. Thank you. I like to say happy, happy anniversary. Thank to you. you to happy anniversary, anniversary to you too. Yes. Wow, I'm so excited. Mm. Just so that we don't you know, take time, okay. let's go right into the questions. Okay. You know, as you know, the covering chair hey, that has been <laughs> powerfully, you know, standing by our pastor mm. and ensuring that you know we make progress. Mm. How has he been? Been hmm. this question, let's see that the eye take up. You know, when you knew about pastors, when pastor came to you, say, You know, my dear cousin, chair, you know, <laughs> I have received a vision from mm -hmm. the Lord, you know, and I want to start my you know, ministry from Jerusalem Church. What was your reaction? How did you respond to it? You know, mm -hmm. knowing that you're going to become a pastor's wife, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, balancing life, marriage, all these things. Like, what was that for you? How was it like? Hmm. Well, let me say that it was. Um, it, it wasn't so much of a shocker because pastor, you know, he has always been called Pastor Lawrence even <laughs> when he proposed Pastor Lawrence, and he literally grew up in the church. But I am familiar with his evangelistic side, okay. you know, so I had the understanding that we might not necessarily be in one place or okay. pastor as it were. Wow. So when he mentioned, I said that, hmm, I thought we were not, you know, because I, I, I had a picture, mm. you know, this traveling ministers. Right. But when he mentioned that it was, like I said, it, I wasn't too surprised. Mm but um it was not so difficult to embrace because of the kind of person he is mm. i won't say was he is you yes. know because he can be he, he's very supportive mm. and he's someone that doesn't put pressure on people mm. you know some other people they'll you know they'll let you know that okay so you're going to you're, you'll be a pastor's wife now so it means you need to be you need mm. to be doing this and that you need to ascend mm. a role that you mm. literally had no idea of because right. i i that's why the fact that we attended a church while growing up I wasn't exactly um, part of the, you know, I wasn't so, I the wasn't, end. exactly, I, I won't say I wasn't so active in the church, mm. but my parents weren't ministers in the church. They were evangelists. Right. So, yes, I loved that church environment, but then to be part of the people that will stay behind while, mm. while everybody goes, uh-uh, mm. we're, we're like the first people to go, yeah. <laughs> to leave once they share the grace. So now I'll have to be the one to be staying while everybody is leaving. So he really gave me time to adjust, to understand, to catch the vision myself. And that I would be honest and say that it took a little while and it took a lot of intentionality on my path. That okay, Father, you have said this man is my husband, now you're giving him this instruction. I have to be able to not just you know hear and follow as as it's expected, but to follow well. How I can follow well is to catch the vision and embrace it as my own. So I, that needed to be done on my path. And I will say that the Lord has not really helped me the first year. Mm. And I thank God for Pastor Lawrence that also gave the grace and the supportive atmosphere to be able to do that. Wow. It's nice. yeah. I, I love the way you're saying Pastor Lawrence. He gave, you know, <laughs> he's <laughs> giving the covering cherub <laughs> ministry. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, from what you said, 
mm-hmm. you also have challenges mm-hmm. and now it's been three years glory to god mm-hmm. especially as a pastor's wife i just feel like that's where you know this the wind is moving mm-hmm. you know how did you mm-hmm. the challenges you face just give us three main ones and how you've been able to manage them well um three main ones maybe I, i'll just I'll just yeah, state just, it as I can. Right. Um, I already mentioned about the fact that I didn't exactly grow up in a church, church environment, right. or more of an ev- the environment of an evangelist, mm. where we are always moving up and down. Yeah. So the um, the fact that I'm going to be more stationary mm. was, I-, I won't say culture shock, <laughs> but was different. Okay, I'm going to be more stationary. I have to be in one place, you know, while. There's work going up and down. No husband is traveling and I'm used to traveling with mm-hmm. what is happening. I just right. going like with my parents. Right. So we traveled a lot. But I have to I have to be stationary, not just for the church now, but for my home. Mm. So I had to be able to adapt to that. And I it was a little it was a struggle, but then there was just so much grace. And I would say that once you are willing to yield to the Lord, it will supply that grace. If you can just be vulnerable in his presence. I love this prayer, the I don't know prayer. Mm-hmm. That's Father, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> My feelings are all, you know, erupting this way, but I know that I'm expected to be here. So just help mm-hmm. me. So I mm-hmm. that prayer was like my favorite prayer. The wow. first the first year, you know. And then so the I, second was assuming a role that I I already expected, but then I had to assume it fast. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to be somebody that ladies will come and yeah, meet stalking. with issues that I'm like, I've never had <laughs> this problem before in my life. Mm-hmm. Like, and then I, I, I saw the need to depend on the Lord for wisdom, for grace, for counsel. And then, um, despite the fact that I, I, I will say that I'm not a selfish person. But I learned that if you're going to assume a position of leadership, then you have to be selfless. Yeah. In the sense that most of the prayers that you make in your secret mm. place is not is not it's actually not yes, wow. yeah, not pray for yourself again. Because wow. now I was able to see the church as a family. We say it a lot that this is the family of mm. God, right? but people really have not yet have not gotten exactly. the scope of that. Right. <laughs> but now I thought it's like, okay, this is actually this is actually a home, my home. Wow. So I have to take it to that if anything is wrong with somebody, I would feel the pain. Like, ah, in our, like I can remember the time that I heard that something happened to somebody. I was almost crying. I was just so disturbed. And then when I now heard that, ah, no, my, well, it wasn't that bad. Either. <laughs> and I felt better. So <laughs> I, I just marveled at the journey mm. and how God had really helped my heart. And now, we, and now he, has, he has worked on this person, you know, to be able to, do what she needs to do and god is even still helping me because mm. there are just so many things that i know that he's he mm. has made available for me wow. so yeah that's a couple of the challenges that, that's so amazing Ma. Mm. Uh, allow me to quickly it's such mm. an honor to have a mother that is always in the spirit like mm. you're guiding us to where we need to go thank god <laughs> and I'm, i'll say that because you know you told us or as you were talking you mentioned how that the i don't know prayer Mm. how that you were always um i don't know how to do this lord what structures did you set up mm. that allowed for you to keep gaining strength because there was something that oh there is something that allowed you to always show up <laughs> if you are not members of the generation church you should you should think about it <laughs> but we that are members of the church mm. You will see her sometimes, she'll come on the altar everywhere, fire. <laughs> and you're so in awe of the power, the alignment. You're like, what is this? Right? And I know definitely that there are structures that you said, maybe structures you didn't even have mm-hmm. before becoming, you know, a pastor's wife. So can you, you know, give us a little behind mm-hmm. the scenes, the things you do mm-hmm. or the things you did? Because, you know, some people, I don't want to say me, you know, you know when they say pastors wife, you're like, can <laughs> be me. Like, so you know, some some people are really genuinely scared of that particular name, the role, mm-hmm. the responsibility. Mm-hmm. So they will probably also make progress if they know the kind of things you do that is sustaining you as a minister mm-hmm. and also maybe as a family woman as well. Mm. So that's a very, very good question. And uh, it's it's God though. Hey, it's the Holy Spirit. What is it there? <laughs> I'm just saying, Father. <laughs> It's, 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 it's just the Holy Spirit. And 
I've already started with one when I said that I don't know prayer mm. because when you're vulnerable in his presence, that's when he now shows up and say, okay, mm. now you don't know what to do, right? Okay, now let me take over, mm. you know, but when you already have a preconceived, you know, mm. especially when you're coming from a home that, um, you know, you were the firstborn, you, you are, you are the president of the fellowship. So you're coming with yourself. Okay. That's okay. I already have experience mm. with people. Mm. Then that's when you, you just literally see that you are in God's way. He wants to use you, break you, mold you, and form you into a vessel compatible with the level that you are in. But you are so, you are, yeah. your mind is so structured yeah. and fixed. Yeah. But then when you pray that prayer of, okay, Father, I am bringing all my achievements, qualifications, everything at your feet. Mm. This level, I've not been there before. I am depending on you because you know the full scope of where I am. Please yeah. help me. Yeah. That's when the Lord actually takes control. You will see him linking you with stronger friends. I've mm. met people by reason of um, this position that I've been so grateful. Like I'm so, ah, the Lord truly sends them to wow. me. People that have blessed me and by just observing them, I've learned so much. So there are people that, um, that I learn from literally every day. And then I also intentionally just try my best to, you know, just look up. Many times we have, we have, we have um, a, smart t a smart TV in our house. Most right. times on YouTube, I'm, I'm searching, I'm searching women of God and I'm searching how they, how they structure their lives as well, especially women that have gone ahead of us. Mm. And I'm just getting the wisdom from them. I'm like, my goodness, if I, if people had known this, then there won't be so many issues. Because mm. the reason why pastor's wife, that connotation has been mm. abused because of mm. what we've seen and heard. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so um, the reason why the tag pastor's wife is, is, is seen with so much dread, because I know a woman of God's online, <laughs> she was like, when God told her that I was going to be a pastor, she mm. said, she said, I'm not pastor's wife material. Mm. <laughs> and she was so firm that I'm not pastor's wife material. I can't be sitting and be smiling at people that have offended my mm. destiny and my life, you know. But then I will say that one thing really struck me is that truly no man is an island. Mm. And scripture says that he sets the solitary in families. Mm. I would say that this grace I'm enjoying in quotes because DGC is an amazing family. It's not just the pastors, but then the members, they are amazing. Mm. They are amazing. Mm. I would say that that installation of culture mm. has really helped us, the pastorate as well. Mm. Not just me, but then the entire pastorate. Mm. You know, we're blessed with members that actually honor, that mm. serve selflessly. And it's because of, it's, it's because of that, um, that culture that culture. has been instilled yeah, because yeah, I was, yeah. I know, first year, that was the first thing that we were hammering on. But the first thing, did you see? The culture of the house, mm. honor, discipline, mm. service, the willingness to go all out for your neighbor, all that. Mm. But a lot of churches today do not really have that as a foundation. Mm. So then the bulk of the work is now placed on the pastors. Mm. So they are now expected yes. to take on yeah. so, yes, but like they are now, they're not, they're having to take up so much responsibility that really if they if these members are just know what they're supposed to do then they wouldn't be suffering to this level but then because they are in pain they are in pain so i would say that the lord has actually blessed us with a structure that is not just on my path now but on the on 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 the path of the house mm -hmm. you know so the house has really helped me as a person as well so mm -hmm. i would say that so, mm -hmm. so the structures you actually use to start can ensure or can you tell me how far you go? Or yes, how easy the journey, how easy the journey will be. Mm. It, it can ensure sustainability. It, mm. it will ensure that you walk faster or slower. The mm. structures that you set, mm. you know, by starting up a, a gathering. So yes, and then with that, like I said, um, the not willing to be, um, or, or, let me say, the willingness to acquire more knowledge, to read up, to mm. not just come, right. to yes, yeah. to be able to know how to do things. Yeah. I know that. Um, it was when I entered this new phase that I began um, a mental health um, training. Okay. And yes, and training to children ministry. And because I'm seeing that there's a possibility that I'll need all that. Mm -hmm. And I was seeing so a recurrence. yourself. Exactly. I was seeing a recurrence of mental instability mm -hmm. with people. Yeah. So I just felt, like, okay, I need to go ahead and learn mental health. So right now I'm on that journey along with a number of other courses. And there's just been so much grace for it. So yeah. Oh, so amazing. once the Lord is saying that you're willing, you're flexible, right. he will give you so much grace. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is strength. Amen. And you, of course, receive much more strength. Amen. Jesus amen. 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 All right. So before we round up, I just feel like, you know, that's something really light. Uh, I mean, beyond being a pastor's wife, you are okay. also 
Mrs. Darcy or your, your person, mm -hmm. right? So, um, just what do you do outside of the hmm. out of ministry work? I want to motherhood because for fun, I chase Elijah and John everywhere in the house. That's, that's <laughs> fun for me now. <laughs> okay, uh, what I do for fun, I like to task myself. Uh, so recently, I started learning a new language. So that is that, that that's fun for me. That's mm -hmm. like my go-to mm -hmm. fun. Besides mm -hmm. reading the scriptures, praying, I learn a new I'm learning a new language on a particular platform online. Learning Spanish. Ooh. So, uh come on, Spanish. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, so that's just by the size. Just I I, I love stretching my mind. Mm -hmm. I love because I know that once the Lord is seen. Once, the, once you present a vessel large enough for the Lord, it's the vessel you present him that you will feel. Amazing. So if right. you are, if you, you don't, mm. I know a man of God in India, a very notable man of God. He's old. He has white hair. God told him to go back to school wow. and learn, um, I think it's an MBA. Okay. God told him to do an MBA because wow. God is saying that you are still a little limited mentally. Mm. Go back to school. And now he's, I think, I think he must have finished. So mm. really, it's the vessel that you present to the Lord that he would, you know, so for fun, um, I love to write. Mm. It's still, like, still sounding <laughs> academic. It's giving knowledge. This <laughs> is okay. good. For it's fun, good. I love to. Ah, what do I do for fun? I love good food. That's good. That's that's cooking good food. Eating good food. Both. Mm. Okay. I love I, I love experimenting in the kitchen. Um, I do so many experiments. Not even um traditional food though, like making ice creams myself uh -huh. and i'll snap it and just send it to my sisters ted sisters they've yes. like, there's so many pictures i just wow. keep snapping just making interesting things and just saying yeah. yes i love i love being um i love experimenting in the kitchen oh yeah just yeah, yeah. so that's and then i feel like some creativity fun. creativity with your hands yes crafts craft, yes i I, I used to do African twirl. Mm -hmm. you, you, can, you can show yeah. the picture. Just yeah. it's just playing with fabrics and making nice designs with them. So that's that's fun for yeah. me. I mean, me, me. I mm. that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Ma. We had such an amazing time. Yeah, thank you for having me. Congratulations to you too. Congratulations. Thank you for so me. much more. One last question before you know we let you go. We really appreciate your time. Thank like, you. We're having so much wisdom you know, being <laughs> teached out. I'm sure that a lot of That's people are getting really, answers. Yeah. And you mean do actually I feel like some people that are feeling like they have mental health things, they would also like reach out to you so mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. they can have clarity. The last question that is also very important is for DGC I know you have hopes and expectations. Can you bring us into some of the things that you are desiring that we'll be seeing in the next couple of mm -hmm. this next year and years to come? Yes. Um hmm. well I would say that I'm um, I trust the Lord that he's going to use um, DGC to literally redefine the understanding people have of Christianity today. Mm. Because there's just been a lot of misrepresentation of Christ. So many, uh, just been a lot of that. And if people will say that, oh, I'm having this issue, let's go to church, mm. you know, and then they would actually mean it and it mm. wouldn't be a source of mockery mm -hmm. you know so i'm trusting the lord that also from this house it will bring world changers mm -hmm. not even just in the spiritual sense but mm -hmm. in the economic yes. um, factor the, the the political space yes. you know i'm trusting the lord that from this house lots of solutions will come in to mm -hmm. the economy mm -hmm. and they'll be preserved because mm -hmm. you know that there are some there are, there might be some forces that would want people to remain mm -hmm. in bondage but mm -hmm. the lord is going to bring out um solutions that will be preserved i'm, I'm emphasizing on that preservation yeah. you know that in the name of jesus there will be a structure that the lord will use this house to establish in the economy you know that will just bring light to the world because we are we are literally the light of the world you know so the lord will look to the that, that the world look to the church for solution for the answer and for jesus so we'll represent jesus well we'll show the lord who jesus truly is to show the world who Jesus mm. is. Yeah. Wow, that, that's so powerful, Ma. That's mm -hmm. genuinely very powerful. And I believe that as you started the prayer, we can just continue the prayer. Mm -hmm. You just bless us. Mm -hmm. You know, because as you said, being world changers, bringing solutions, being able to preserve those things mm -hmm. carries strength, power, mm -hmm. and 
I mean, that's why we are in this house. Mm. So I don't want to bless us because you know, just bless us, ma, mm-hmm. as we go into another year. Okay. We love for this. I pray that in the name of Jesus, the Lord will equip this house mm. and the Lord will build this house for His glory. Mm. That the Lord will buy this by this gathering is going to raise leaders is going to raise men and women of war mm-hmm. that will insist on the transformation of their territory mm-hmm. in the name of jesus mm-hmm. that the lord will fashion men after his image mm-hmm. that they will be just like jesus upon the face mm-hmm. of the earth mm-hmm. they will come in power they will come in might mm-hmm. and they will come with wisdom mm-hmm. to prefer solutions to the problems of the nation and by this assembly Many will be won to the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Many will see the light that is in Christ in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Father, for this new year that we're going into. And we know that it's going to be one of amazing favor. Mm-hmm. It's going to be one of anointing. Mm-hmm. It's going to be one of power in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Amen and yes. amen. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You're this woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for having you. me. Thank you uh, so much. Love you, mama. <laughs> we love you too. All right, I want to do something really cool. Okay. Right? So we are going to join the audience, or the audience are going to join us. We're going to say one, two, three, and then we're going to say the anniversary to David Generation Church. Okay. Yes. Okay. So on three, we would say happy, happy anniversary, anniversary to David Generation Church. Okay. All yes. Right. All right. So one, two, three. Happy anniversary, anniversary to, to the Living Generation Church. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.